say you own it And I have no trips about it And these played out faces around me I want you to know where they go But they ain't got nothing on you So say I and open your mouth for me I got you like down like police No three to five You're filming my hair video today And I'm not even having the best hair day So here it is, finally sitting down to film this video. This has been the video that has been asked the most ever since I started my Instagram, ever since I started my YouTube channel, and I, have, as I have promised you guys, I am sitting down to film this before Christmas, so right now. So here we go. To be honest, I think if someone would have told me like a few years ago that I'd be sitting down here talking to you guys about what grows off of my head. I would have thought that would be really weird. Um, but obviously everyone is very interested. So here it goes. To begin, um, I have a tendency to blab on unnecessarily, so I will try and keep this as brief as possible. Also, I'm like kind of getting sick, so that's why my voice sounds kind of funky. So I split up the um, video into like a little topic so that I wouldn't blab on about nothing. Have I even said that this video is about my hair yet? It's about my hair, if you guys were wondering. <laughs> so on Instagram, I asked you guys to let me know if you have any questions that you really want me to answer. So I'm going to try and incorporate like everything that you guys have asked into this. I've cut it down to the color, the length, and like growing my hair. Um, the texture, a lot of people are asking me about the texture. Um, also, my oily hair problems that have only started lately, I'll tell you about that. Um, brushing my hair, like sleeping, what do I do with my hair when I sleep, blah, 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 and products. Oh, and there's one other thing I want to add in is that like traveling because I have a little bit to say about that. So let's just get going. To begin, color. Okay, I don't know, the color kind of looks funky in this video, but my, um, my roots right now, that's my natural color. I'm going to try and come a little closer, it might be a little, a little out of focus, but that's my color. Um, it looks very dark right now though, so like my shirt is popping and my hair looks really dark. Anyways, I'll try and put like some close-ups of that, but um, again, I'm gonna go a little close- yeah, here, this is a bit better. That is my natural color at the root. It's like a dark blonde. I used to be very, very blonde as a kid, like white hair. Maybe I'll try and find it. Oh, I actually have a picture! One second. So if you want to see me with really blonde hair, but this is like, at this point I was even like less blonde. That's just me and my aunt when I was little and these pictures are in my room. So there I am. My hair's pretty blonde. Cute. Alright, so when I was about, um, let's say 15, I started getting highlights and that's like why it's a little blonder at the ends and everything and like if I put my hair down like this, that's the color of my hair. I get highlights every six months or so. Not very often, but I kind of just like this color that I have going and it makes it look quite natural with my curly hair. As you see right now, my natural roots are quite dark and they're um, grown out. So yeah, I'm actually going to be getting highlights quite soon. So just want to let you know for like where I am in the phase of my colored hair. That kind of sums up the color for you. Next up, I'm gonna tell, talk to you guys about the length of my hair, which is quite long, as you probably see, um, and how I've been growing it, etc. So when I was about 14 was the last time that I cut my hair quite short, and when I say quite short, it was probably like below my um, shoulders, which to some of you is not that short, but to me that's the shortest I've gone in a while. So now I'm, what, 21? So for the last seven years, I've been like just letting my hair grow longer, like I haven't cut it any shorter. So since then, I've been letting it grow and I've been trimming it, I would say every six months or so as well. In the last year or so, I would say that I've been doing a shorter trim, but more often, if that makes sense. I'm kind of just really cutting off the dead stuff at the end to make it look a little healthier. Um, as you can see right now, I kind of, my ends are looking a bit straggly, so I'm probably going to do that quite shortly. But aside from that, I don't have any like miracle grow anything uh, for my hair. It's really just been that. I've been being patient, letting it grow out, um, 
and that's about it. A lot of people ask me like how do you keep it tame? A lot of people have curly hair and say that their hair is very like coarse, feels like straw. So this is what I have to tell you. My hair is actually quite soft. My hair is actually a lot thinner than you might imagine as well. Because it's curly it kind of has quite a bit of volume and it might look very very thick. But if, if I go like this and put it in a ponytail, like, I don't know if you can see that, I can put my fingers around like quite easily. Um, so, I mean, I'm not saying that I have thin hair, like, but it is a lot thinner than some people might think. Back to the texture though, it's quite soft. Um, and this I'm gonna, now I'm gonna kind of talk about traveling because I've realized that different countries I go to, I don't know what the like whole scientific explanation of this is, I'm just gonna tell you it, how it is, how I've noticed it. Um, the water, like when I'm showering, it um, affects my hair differently. For example, when I was in Australia for six months this year, my hair was a lot more like strawy. Is that a word? But yeah, it was very rough. So I was using different products then than I am now. Again, depending on the country I'm in and the like region I'm in, the water affects my hair differently. I'm not just imagining this, I swear to god it's true. I guess I'll just talk about products now too. So when I was in Australia and my hair was feeling a lot more rough than soft, um, I was using argan oil and Moroccan oil almost every time that my hair was wet. So anytime rinsing my hair off after the beach or any time that I would take a shower and wash my hair when I would get out and my hair was damp, I would put, I would just kind of put some oil through my hair, especially concentrating on the tips to keep them healthy. But that is really what I was doing product wise. Lately however, since I'm back in Canada and I find my hair dries a lot differently and it feels a lot softer and healthier with the water here, I don't know how that works, um, I actually haven't been using much in my hair. And that might be disappointing to some people because I know all of you are asking, oh my god, like what do you put in your hair, give me your advice, I have hair similar to yours. And unfortunately, I'm going to say that lately I have not been using much. Um, and by not using much, I haven't been using anything in the last couple of weeks. Again, every now and then, if I feel like my hair is looking kind of like tired, dead, um, I will use Moroccan oil. It's what I like to put in my hair. It doesn't get out of, too out of control. Therefore, I haven't felt the need to use too many products in my hair. I'm sorry if this is disappointing and not very helpful to everyone, but again, I'm not gonna like invent anything. I'm not gonna push products on you guys that I don't use. So I don't wanna do any false advertising here. I really only use like oil to, um, to kind of tame my hair. For products as well, um, the shampoo and conditioner I'm using at the moment is just a Dove shampoo. Um, it's nothing, to be honest, I get it at Costco because it comes in like big bottles. Um, yeah, so nothing too exciting with the shampoo. I haven't been the type of person that finds that like one shampoo is a lifesaver or maybe I just haven't found that lifesaver shampoo yet. I've been using Dove for years and I really like it and it makes my hair smell good. Good wash, deep wash. If you guys follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, you might have seen that um, in the last couple of months I was using this um, treatment for my oily hair. So that is a product that I've used um, recently and it was actually quite helpful. It was like a, um, what's that called? A clay mask that you put in your hair that kind of tries to absorb all the oils. I have told you guys that I went off the pill recently. I was on it for quite a long time. I initially went on the pill because I had bad chest and back acne, which was quite unfortunate. Um, but I have decided to go off. Um, I kind of want to give, anyways, I don't have to go into detail about that, but I want to give my body a break from all the hormones, etc. Um, I can do another video about that experience if you guys want to hear more about that, but I'm going to stick to my hair right now. I went off the pill and since then I've been getting really oily skin and really oily hair, which is quite frustrating because as most people I've been trying to kind of extend how long I can go between washes and I was up to like a good three days in between washes, which was helpful, I guess. However, I've gone off the pill and I can like barely go two days now. So I push it to two days, but even by the second day, my hair is 
quite disgusting. <laughs> like, personally, I think it's gross. And my mom or my friends even are like, Karina, have you washed your hair lately? And I'm like, I swear I washed it a day ago. And dry shampoo hasn't even been very helpful. It's like that kind of oily. Sometimes I use baby powder in my hair too and blonder, not right now. Any of you guys know any tips and tricks for oily hair, let me know because this is quite new to me. Brushing. Okay, so anyone with curly hair will know this. I do not brush my hair. Anyone with curly hair will understand why. If you brush curly hair, um, it becomes like double the size. So what I do is brushing wise, um, of course my hair does get naughty because it's curly. So when I'm in the shower, I'll put like a bit of um, conditioner in and I'll actually brush out the knots in the shower with the conditioner and the water to help. So I'm just not like yanking out all the knots in my hair. I never brush my hair when it's dry because it will become a triangle of poof. You don't want to see that. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll show you guys, but not today. Someone asked me what I do um, at night, what I do while I'm, while I'm sleeping. I usually shower at night. I wash my hair at night, um, it, whenever I do, and then I will towel dry my hair and like try and get as much moisture out of it as possible. If I do want to put any product in it, I would do it when it's damp, so like the Moroccan oil, like I said. And then I actually sleep with my hair wet. I know a lot of people don't like this, however, over the years I've realized that this is just the best way for my hair to dry because it's curly and it has, it's kind of weighted down because of the length. I just find that I usually just put it above my pillow and I like, like lay it out if that makes sense and it dries that way. So I've found that over the years that's been the best way for me. I find that my hair dries the nicest because it's so long. It does have a lot of weight like pulling it down. So if I if it dries that way, I find that the curls just dry the nicest. And um, I get like as many curls near the top of my scalp. Whereas if I were to just let it dry once I get out of the shower, I find that because of um, the moisture and how it's wet, it's weighed down even more. And then it kind of then it kind of creates this like <laughs> flat at the top hairstyle with bigger, kind of thicker at the bottom, which I'm not a huge fan of. So that's what I do. I sleep with it damp, and then when I wake up in the morning, it usually, I mean, it doesn't always look perfect, but I usually just take my fingers through it, kind of if there's like a piece that looks awkward, I'll just kind of brush through it with my fingers quickly. Um, and that's what I do when I sleep. Again, nothing, no miracles here. This is just what I've personally found to work the best with my hair type. My hair might not be exactly like yours, it's just this is what's worth the best for me. Just to sum this up, people want to know tips and tricks for long healthy hair. Like I said, I trim it quite often to just keep the ends looking healthy. I find ends that are like straggly isn't the nicest thing. So that's one thing, just make sure you keep trimming it. Also as you may see, I rarely, rarely, rarely use heat on my hair. I know this is a big tip for wanting to grow your hair longer. If you're using a straightener or a curler all the time, that is damaging your hair. So I, I think maybe once or twice, three times a year I use heat on my hair. That is definitely something that I think has helped my hair grow faster. Using, I find oil, like the Moroccan oil, really helps to make my hair look and feel healthier. So that would be my tips to you guys. Hopefully I didn't blab on too much. I feel like I was a bit scattered. Hopefully this gave you guys the information that you've always wanted. I hope this was helpful. I hope I answered all your questions. If I didn't, feel free to ask it in the comments and I'll try and just like type you guys a quick answer. I rarely make videos like this talking about like my routines. However, I know you guys often ask about them, so if you did enjoy this, I would really appreciate it if you gave a thumbs up just to let me know that you liked the information I gave you guys. Also, I've had a lot of people ask about skin routines, so if that's something that interests you guys, please comment below and let me know. I never make makeup videos, I'm no makeup guru, but if you guys want to know just my everyday skin and basic makeup routine, I'm super open to doing a video about that as well. So let me know in the comments. I will leave you here and next week I'll be back with a new video. Have a great week everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys next time.